when I was talking to Hunter, he's like, yeah, I don't do interviews. Tell Jack that. And I'm like, okay, I don't know why you wouldn't want to get interviewed. But yeah, that was a heck of a game, really. I came into the game today, like earlier, my ankle was hurting and I didn't know if I was going to be able to play today. And then my friend, when I was coaching Powder Puff earlier, he got me this like ointment and I put it on my ankle and it felt amazing. And then I came into the game feeling confident. And then, yeah, that play right before half, like you said, Jack, was, it was crazy. It was made up on the spot. I, I had no idea that I was going to be throwing a touchdown tonight. <laughs> well, you know, what was, it was right after Cam got hurt. So, you know, how'd you guys all get together? And I know Cam stayed on the sideline with a broken collarbone to, to say, hey, let's not give this up. Yeah, um, with Cam and John, like, leaving the game to injuries, like, we were definitely, like, devastated. Like, we had a form together with Nathan at quarterback, which he did a good job with rare, barely any practice. And, you know, that ultimate team come together and us just running the ball really helped us out win the game in total. What does it mean to you to come here and win this game on their field and do it the way you did it? It feels amazing. It is like the best feeling ever. It really is surreal. It's out of this world. I've never lost to the Eskimos, not to brag, but in my <laughs> career in football, but it feels amazing. I love beating Eski. It's the best feeling ever. Well, say hi to whoever you'd like to, Eli. Hi, Mom, Dad, Grandpa. Thank you for showing up. And the Gladstone student section, you really made a difference for us today getting us hyped up. Yeah, it was, it was a fun night to be a Brave, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was a great night. All right, well, get into the shower. All right, I'll talk to you later, Jack. All right, man.